Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we have been working on we have been working on adding fractions, but we've been using the fraction scripts. So what I think we're going to do now is we're going to do two problems, and we're going to use the standard regular algorithm way to do it. I did one showing the standard regular algorithm way to do it and fraction strips yesterday in tutorials. I made a video and I attached it to today's classroom of Google. I made one in first period and I attach it in today's classroom of Google. Second period and I attach it in today's classroom of Google. So if you need to look back, then that's always a good place to refer to because this video will go in the classroom of Google as well. So we're going to start with, I don't know, this problem. Let's make it 3 eighths plus 2 fifths. 3 eighths plus 2 fifths. Eli A, is 3 eighths less than or greater than a half? Um, less than. Because 4 eighths would be exactly a half. Good. All right. Can we... Can we, can we, Violet, can we add these problems the way it's currently written? No. No. Kind of like you can't add um, 28 minutes plus one hour. You need to, and that asks how many minutes. You'd have to change 60 minutes plus 28 minutes to tell you how many minutes. So we need to change the way these fractions are written without changing the value of the fractions. 60 minutes is an hour, 4 quarters is a dollar. I'm not changing the value of it, I'm just changing the way it's written. To do that, we need to find the least common denominator. Now luckily for you, you have a multiplication chart, and you can look at the row, our two denominators are 8 and 5. And you can look at the row that starts with 8 and the row that starts with 5. And you can go down until you find the first number that it has in common. So 8, 16, 24, 32, 48, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Now I've done enough adding and subtracting fractions that I knew it was 40 before we started. So the more practice you get the better off you're going to be. So now, I need to change both of these fractions so that they have a denominator of 40, but I can't change the value. I cannot change the value. So I need to make equivalent fractions. Equivalent means they're equal, equivalent, equal, equivalent, equal. So I need to ask I need to ask, all right, Maddie, what do I multiply by 8 to get 40? Uh, 5. 5. If I multiply eight, the denominator by 5, I have to multiply the numerator by 5. And Maddie, what is my new numerator? Uh, 15. 15. Now the fraction 3 eighths is equal to the fraction 15 fortieths. They are the same. They have the same value. So I did not change that add in. I changed the way it was written. I have to do the same thing for 2 fifths. So DJ, what do I have to multiply 5 by to get 40? Uh, eight. 8. If I multiply my denominator by 8, I must also multiply my numerator by 8. So DJ, what is my new numerator? 16. 16. 2 fifths and 16 fortieths are the exact same value. If I gave Aiden a test that had five questions on it and he got two of them correct, he would get the same grade as I, the test I gave Jaden, who had 40 questions on it and got 16 right. Those are the same grades. The same value, those are equal. Why we have an equal sign. So the equal sign tells us we're equal. So first, we have to find the least common denominator. 
which is the smallest one they have in common. I don't remember how to do that. Well, you can go back and watch this video because it is on the tube of you and it will be posted on the Google Classroom of today. Now, I always check and make sure my signs are correct. I know it's an addition problem because it says addition over here, but if you get some in there, mix some addition, some subtraction, that, that would be bad. I know when I'm adding fractions, my denominator stays the same. So now all I have to do, Zoe, all I have to do is add 15 plus 16, which gives me 31. Thank you. 31 fortieths. But I need to make sure my answer is in simplest form. So I got to figure out if there is a number besides one that divides evenly into both of those. How can you figure that out? Well, I can list my factors of 31, which is just 1 and 31. My factors of 40, which, let's see, we start with 1 and 40, 2 and 20, 4 and 10, 5 and 8. What do they have in common? One. 1. If 1 is all they have in common, it's already in simplest form. I don't remember how to make fractions in simplest form. Well, it's on this video. So you can always go back and check it out. And I'm not done. We're going to continue with this whole doing a quick lesson at the beginning of class so that when we take our adding and subtracting fractions quiz, you guys will be genii. That's plural for geniuses. I don't think it's really plural for geniuses. It's really just a word I made up. But who knows? Maybe it'll be in the dictionary one day. Maybe. You never really know. All right, let's take the fraction. Oh, seven eighths plus one fourth. Seven eighths plus one fourth. Uh, Maddie D, seven eighths, less than or greater than a half? More than a half. More than a half, good. One fourth. Uh, Kara, greater than or less than a half? Less than a half. Less than a half, good. Four eighths would be a half. Two fourths would be a half. So anytime the numerator is half of the denominator, the fraction equals one half. I'm just saying. They can't be added the way they're currently written because the denominators are not the same. So we must find the least common denominator. I already know what it is because I've done these denominators a billion times. Well, a billion and one. <laughs> I can take my denominators eight. 16, 24, 4, 8, 12. Oh, look, 8 is my common denominator. I don't remember how to find the common denominator. Then watch this video again. My goodness. And I'm going to keep recording them. Now I need to change both of these fractions so that they have a denominator of 8. Jackson is correct that this first one already has a denominator of 8. So I don't even have to change anything. 7 eighths stays 7 eighths. And then my answer is going to have 7 eighths stays 7 eighths. Now I need to change 1 fourth equals something over 8, so equivalent fraction. I need to see Violet. How do I change from 4 to 8? Uh, by multiplying 2. By multiplying by 2. So Jaden, what is my new numerator? Um, two. Two, because one times two is two. Now I check my sign because Mr. McMurdo likes to mix up the problems, so I don't want to get confused. And Anthony, seven eighths plus two eighths is nine eighths. Nine eighths. Awesome. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. What kind of fraction is that, Jackson? Um, an improper fraction. An improper fraction. So I need to change it to what, Jackson? A proper fraction. Or a mixed number. Okay. Um, Eli K, what would 9 eighths be as a mixed number? It would be one whole and 
One and one eighth. Good. You'd be smart. One and one eighth. You okay? Tired? I am. Stay up all night watching that Barbie special you were telling me about. I think it's Boom, shock a lot. Peace out. God bless. Love you. Some kind today. Save the bees. Please subscribe.